What up? What's happening? What it do? It's your boy Big Trail. Big Trail's vlog hat. This is actually a vlog today. So this is the day in the life of a professional shooter. You might be him, but you're not Elohim. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got a queen, so I don't need a team. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You're not the one till you get you a team and get us some rings. You know what I mean? I hit the studio, boss. And so I'm on my way to shoot. Uh, got my ammo. Ammo. I think I got about 320 rounds in here. Got my range bag. And we got I just want to show y'all this sign right here. The sign says shalom, which means nothing missing. It's a Hebrew word. Which means nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking, all is well. So at our church, which I am a Christian, at our church we say shalom. We use this word all the time. That means you when you say that to somebody, you're speaking life into them. No matter how rough it gets, nothing's missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking, all is well. Even if it feels that way. When you use this word, you're speaking life into them. Yeah, I don't announce all the time that I'm a Christian, but if, you, if you've if looked at my page, you notice that I have the Harvest Church website at the top of my page. So, just want to tell y'all, shalom. Hope y'all have a good day, and let's get to it. We got to shoot. Ah. All right, y'all. So first we're gonna stop at Walmart and have a couple of things to grab. I wanna look at, maybe get me a new knife and uh, just look at their gun stuff over there. You know, lubes, uh, hearing protection, eye protection. Just just looking around, see if I can find a deal on something. But uh, never mind my mustache and my beard and everything looking rough. We recently moved now and I cannot find my clippers. I cannot find my clippers, so I don't know where they're at. I looked everywhere they could possibly be, but they're in the house somewhere, so I just gotta find them. But I'm gonna pay attention to this road, give with y'all when I get to Walmart. All right, y'all, we up in here. Uh, let me see what I need. I don't know what I need, but we're gonna, we gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. Couple of items. We are here in Wallywood. You can see. So, let's see. Alright, what I need is a chain for my, my neck knife. I need a breakaway chain. Um, I watched a video because I have this chain that doesn't break away. But I watched a video where this can be used against you. If they get a hold of this, they can, you know, kind of choke you out with it. So I need a breakaway chain for my neck knife. And that's what I'm looking for right now. And I need an ID holder, which is right here. Belt clip ID holder, I need all that. So let me look into that. All right, this is what I need. Just need one of these. And this come in a pack of 12, but it's only like four bucks all together. But that's exactly what I need. Man, my beard is dry, I just, I just, Put some stuff on it. God, dog, it's still dry. <laughs> and whenever I'm in Walmart, I gotta stop over here by the content creator side. This is good stuff. Just to see what they have. Found some knives. That one's like, I kinda like it. The little short stub one that's kind of 15 bucks. This one's like eight bucks. This blue one. Uh, I like this. This one. I don't know if y'all can really see it because of the reflection, but I might go with that one. Let me check it out real quick. Alright, Walmart gun stuff. Uh, this Walmart does not sell guns I know some Walmarts do this Walmart does not sell guns so I don't know if they do in the state of Georgia or not sometimes I just come and look see if there's anything I can use like a cleaning kit they usually have some deals target something like this this gun case is kind of nice let me check it out and if y'all didn't know, Walmart stopped selling handgun ammo. 
which is they sell shotguns. They sell so they don't sell like nine millimeter, forty five. You know the normal handgun stuff, forties. They have uh, shotgun rounds, and shotgun rounds, and other special rounds, but not um, not handgun rounds. Now they stopped that. I think it was like last year or the year before. But the whole thing is they're doing it just to. It's it's a political thing because if they really wanted to stop selling that stuff. They would have. They wouldn't have waited until they sold out of everything. So what they did was everything that was in the store. They, they um, sold. Any anything that was still in that store, they sold, right? But once they ran out, they stopped restocking. And I'm just like, if you was really down for the cause, you would have stopped immediately. So that's how you know it's political. That's how you know it's for them to, you know, so their company doesn't um, lose any kind of revenue. But that's another topic. Let's get back on task. All right, nobody's around here to get me a knife. And I really don't need one at the moment, so I'm glad nobody's here. Now, I normally don't eat this. This is the one fast food place that I try to stay away from, but today I just I just wanted some for some reason. Mickey D's. I don't even say Mickey D's on it. Mickey D's. Yeah, I try to stay away. Just all the horror stories I've heard, I stay away from it. But every now and then, I, I want some. And today was one of those days, so. I got some. <laughs> stay away from McDonald's, all right? All right, so now we on our way to the range. Uh, I'm gonna shoot some rounds. I haven't shot in over 10 months. As a professional shooter, I haven't shot in over 10 months, which is crazy. Uh, but my hat, this is uh, a YouTuber. His name is Everything Regular. Everything's Regular on YouTube. He's one of my favorite YouTube channels. I watch him all the time. But he, what he does is, at the beginning, when he first started, he would uh, buy cars at auctions and fix them up and, and sell them or raffle them off. Now he does pretty much strictly um, Harleys, Harley Davidsons, motorcycles. And he flips them, he fixes them, put put his own twist on them, put his own style on them, and he um, usually raffles them off. So this dude is like he's inspirational. Like watching him, just him, just doing it all by himself, pretty much. Um, and I'm just a big supporter of him. So I bought one of his hats, entered his raffle, uh, but I didn't. You know, if you win, you win. If you don't, you don't. You know, but. It was more of just supporting them. So I, he came out with some bucket hats and I was like, I gotta have one. So if you like motorcycles, if you like watching people fix things and you like, especially Harleys, if you like Harley Davidson, you know, you know the Harley Davidson culture, go check out Everything's Regular on YouTube and just enjoy. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a good channel. So that's it. But I'm on my way to the range. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we finally made it to the, show you where we at. Sandy Springs Gun Range in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Uh, not sure if I can film on the inside, so I probably won't film until I get to my range area or to my shooting, my shooting area. So let's get it. All right, let's get to loading this one magazine I got. And I don't believe that. So are you guys in the guns? This is my Smith & Wesson M&P, the 2.0. So it's the same size. If you know about the Glock 19, that's the size that it is. But it came with a with a red dot. That's a Crimson Trace red dot. And it came with a, with a flashlight. It's not this one, but it's a Crimson Trace flashlight. So that was like a package deal for this. And I think I paid about 600 bucks for it. I got the Flare Magwell from Floyd's Company. This is an exciting So we're gonna load up. Make sure the red dot's on and get to it. Okay, so the target is five yards away. Let me show y'all. There it is. Five yard line. Get some warm up shots in. Let's get it. Five 
five yards away. So it's pretty, pretty accurate. 15 shots. I dropped, only dropped one really. That's not bad. Hey, comment down below what y'all carry. If y'all carry, if y'all got a home defense gun or whatever, comment what y'all use. Let's get some more precision shooting. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's load up again. All right. So now we're going to push back to seven yards. Then we're going to go to 10. Just working on fundamentals. So I'm going to slow it down. Get on the work on the fundamentals. Yeah. Oh, let me take this ring off. This ring always pinches my hand when I shoot with it. Ten yards, and then I'll probably bring it back in and work on some techniques. Apparently, I just saw the rules. I'm not supposed to be recording it. We'll see if I stop or not. But you know, as a professional shooter, I have to record my progress. You know what I'm saying? So, but we'll see. I might, you know, I might stop recording just to follow the house rules. But you can't record in here at any time. And this is the first range I've been to where you couldn't record on an actual gun range. A lot of times they don't let you record in the lobby, but you'll be able to record in, on the gun range. So, uh, we'll see. Hey, if y'all shoot a lot, get you a magazine loader. Whatever kind it is, this is a cheap magazine loader where all I have to do is push down. I just have to push down, the round goes down. I stick this, stick the round inside. It's, it's pretty easy, pretty simple to work. All right, so here's my first targets. Looking pretty good. I could keep shooting these, but that looks pretty good, pretty decent. Different ranges from five to 10 yards, rapid fire, double taps. I think this was my double tap target, so that's pretty good. All right. All right, so I'm gonna work on some double taps, finding my sight, because I, I'm new to having a red dot. So I'm gonna work on double taps and finding my sight. And I'm not gonna rush the double taps. It's gonna, it's gonna come when I find the sight. I'm not just gonna pop, pop. I'm gonna pop and then if I don't find a sight, then I'll just start over and pop until I find both sights. I mean, sign, find a sight both times. Bottom left. All those those double taps were pretty pretty good. <laughs> top left or top right. See, they're still in there, but what I wanted, not what I wanted. We're gonna take our time and do it right. Top left, here we go. Slow and steady. I 
think I may have missed one. You see that one at the top right? Everything else is in. I'll take that at 20 yards. Please, I'll take that. I used to love this light laser combo. It's a it's a flashlight and a laser, but it's ugly now. When I first bought it, it was cool. I had that on my other gun, but it's ugly. All right, everybody. So that was a successful range day as a professional shooter, which obviously I'm not. <clears throat> No, I had fun. It's been a while. Like I said, it's been over 10 months, maybe closer to a year since I shot. So, you know, I was just doing fundamentals, trying to make sure that, you know, my skills are still okay. And they are, you know what I mean? So, successful range day. I couldn't record the way I wanted to because I, I was trying to be discreet. So I couldn't record, you know, my normal style that I do when I do range stuff. But it was, it was all right. I enjoyed it. The range, the range is cool. I definitely come back. This would be my my range to come to. Uh, definitely want to find an outdoor range though, because you get a little more liberty, a little more freedom on an outdoor range as far as the way you can shoot. So, looking forward to that. But enjoying myself. So that's it. This your boy Big Trail, Big Trail's vlogcast. First vlog in a while, but I hope y'all enjoy it. Let's get it. Get it.